demo how to use DB2 Graph to perform healthy insurance claim analysis. Two datasets are stored in the database, a healthy insurance claim dataset and an EMR dataset. We'll detect fraudulent claims by first finding suspicious claims, then looking into one such claim, investigating the policyholder, and finally examining the social connections of the policyholder. Let's first apply a complex SQL query to find all the suspicious claims. A claim is considered suspicious if its charge is more than four times the average charge of similar claims. This SQL calls machine learning underneath to detect claim similarities. The results are ranked. Let's look at the top claim here. Its charge is almost $10 million compared to the average of 700 k for similar claims. Let's look into this top-ranked suspicious claim. What diseases does the insured of the claim have? We can use the following Gremlin graph query to find out and visualize the results. The orange node is the suspicious claim, the yellow node is the patient, and also the insured of the claim. We see this patient is connected to multiple chronic diseases. This might be the reason for the abnormal charge of the claim. Now let's investigate the policyholder of this suspicious claim. What other claims were filed by the same policyholder? The yellow node is the policyholder. It's connected to a number of claims, shown as the dark blue nodes, and all the claims link to the same patient. What's more, in each claim, the patient was treated by a different physician from a different service provider. This is very suspicious behavior. Now we look at the social connections of the policyholder. What other policyholders are directly or indirectly connected to the policyholder in question? The green node is the suspicious claim. The dark blue nodes are high-risk policyholders, and the light blue nodes are low-risk ones. The policyholder in question is directly connected to two other high-risk policyholders and also indirectly connected to another high-risk policyholder by three degrees of separation. Now we will show how updates to the underlying database can be reflected in graph queries in real time. Here we add two more policyholder connections to the database and rerun the last graph query. The updates are instantly showing the graph query results. Now the suspicious policyholder is connected to an additional high-risk policyholder by two degrees of separation.